tit for tat revenge kind of thing right now. I think that makes it much, much less kind of organized than what we would normally expect. A recent increase in gun violence in Calgary and broad daylight shootings in residential areas are raising questions about the presence of gangs and organized crime in the city. While the Calgary Police Service has confirmed these shootings are linked to organized crime, they also say organized crime groups in Calgary are less structured than they have seen previously. The conflict is fluid and it changes just as fast as, as we get a handle on who these groups are. Um, their motives change, their affiliations and allegiances in the group change, and so that creates this sort of consistent conflict. In a further statement to City News, CPS says in part, these groups are formed and align themselves for different reasons, family, historic friendships, but also for financial gain. Within these groups, infighting occurs that leads to fractures. But Mount Royal University professor Doug King worries the way these gangs are operating now, as compared to in the past, could be very dangerous for the community. The fact that a 14-year-old has been charged with a first-degree murder tells you that you know, it, uh, it, it isn't cohesive. It is that gangs actually use and exploit other people to get their aim. And so it's less organized than you would think. It's more loosely organized, but they all have a common goal, and that's to make money. The two teens charged in the killing of a 23-year-old man in a northeast parking lot Monday made their first court appearance Thursday. City News has learned they were waiting to join a program intended to help kids escape gang culture. They had been on the wait list for six months. And I have to wonder if they had been able to get on to our program right when uh, they were referred, would those people, would that person still be alive? Would those other people not be injured? Would these two be on a different trajectory now where they're already well on their way to be active, you know, uh, citizens that are, that are participating well in our society? Lian says their efforts are directed towards early prevention for troubled youth, but when the situation becomes as complex as right now, then the matters are in the hands of law enforcement agencies. CPS says they are currently monitoring approximately 350 offenders in Calgary who have ties to organized crime, and they are collecting intelligence on these individuals to help prevent and suppress violence in the city. In Calgary, Hena Said, City News.